Hey YouTubers, Mike Boards with the Mike Boards channel. Behind me, a window without window shades. In today's project, we are going to install cordless window blinds or shades in this open window. Let's get started. Here is the set that we picked, again cordless, and it's also very important that you get the correct measurements prior to purchasing the actual window blind set. And in most cases, Lowe's, Home Depot, Menards, they will actually custom cut the window blinds that they sell to the exact measurement that you bring in from home when you measured your window frame. A couple things you'll need, Phillips screwdriver, a tape measure, and a pen and pencil to mark the markings that are stated in the actual instructions. Next thing you want to do, if you had shades here previously, remove the old shades or blinds, remove all the mounting brackets that held the blinds in place, because in most cases, when you purchase the new cordless ones, you're not going to use any of those mounting brackets. Next, we'll refer to the instructions. Step one, choose a blind position, either the inside mount or the outside mount. In our case, we are going to choose the inside mount. On to step two, here is a image of the actual bracket, and this states to remove the white tape from the mounting bracket. With our blind set, we have three mounting brackets, and after you remove the white tape, it becomes a sticky tab, which is a really cool feature to allow you to position these brackets in place and conveniently insert the screws and tighten these brackets down. Continuing with step two, again, we chose the inside mount. So this is where you get the measurements. We are going to measure one and seven eight inch from that actual groove in the mounting bracket to the very front portion of the window frame. We are going to insert the new mounting brackets where the old mounting brackets were, however, with different measurements. You can see one and seven eighth inch. I've marked two little dashes there. Now I will position the actual mounting bracket. And in regards to how this is actually positioned, this bracket says top. So we will insert it accordingly. At this point, the mounting bracket is held in place by that sticky portion. And there's that groove I was mentioning, as you can see right there. And just behind it, you can see that little black marking, which was the one and seven eight inch marking. Next, head back to the hardware box and grab your screws. Insert and tighten one screw at a time. First mounting bracket is on and secure. Now let's move on to the second mounting bracket. And one thing I also want to point out, it's very important to space these mounting brackets evenly throughout the entire gap. So do yourself a favor, measure from that point all the way across to here, divide it by three, and that will give you the points at which your mounting bracket should be. Second mounting bracket is on and secure. Now it's time to insert and secure the third mounting bracket. Making progress, all three mounting brackets are on and secure. That's the end of step two. On to step three, insert wand stem into the head rail as shown below. And what we are trying to accomplish, if we do this properly, insert it evenly until you hear it click. Step four, attach end caps to the rails. And those end caps will be in the actual hardware box. I pulled them out. These are the top and these are the bottom. You can actually match the shape of the cap to the actual end piece of the rail. Both sides of the window shades have their end caps on. Now on to step five. This is where we mount the actual blinds. And you want to become very familiar with this actual image and how the actual blinds connect themselves to the mounting bracket and secure themselves into place. So you'll notice you will loop the rail around this hook on the mounting bracket and this bottom portion says push on it and is adjustable with pressure. So as you rotate and shift this blind into place into the mounting bracket, you will hear the click you will insert this rail at an angle to loop around that hook and then shift it into place until it clicks. Just like that. Step six is where we operate our blind. As you can see here, they reference the handles located at the bottom of the blinds. And those are little plastic tabs, one on the right side and one all the way on the left side. And it's very important to lower the blinds by grabbing these plastic tabs and lowering them evenly. And now directing our attention to the actual wand, we can adjust the slats and close and open the blinds. And the result looks pretty good. And there it is in the closed position. We are very satisfied. So that's it. In my opinion, a pretty friendly do-it-yourself project. 
Hope this video helps. Hey, do us a favor below this video. You will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Definitely turn on your YouTube notifications in your settings because once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified. You will be able to stay up to date with us and that will be awesome. Thanks again.